Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a uh, disassembly and some first impressions of this little guy right here. This is the Wee Knives Banta, uh, which was designed by Ben Peterson. Uh, you may know him from some of his work over at Blade HQ. What is up, guys? As, as I throw the pivot on the floor. Where'd you go, pivot? Come here, pivot. Here we go. Um, but anyways, this is Ben's knife, and so I'm very curious. Oh, all T8. Nice. Very curious to get this guy apart and to give it some pocket time here. Uh, well, okay, it's been in my pocket for like 20 minutes, but not quite enough. But, uh, yeah, and just uh, in the name of full disclosure, this guy was actually provided to me directly by Ben. I posted a picture. He actually sent a full little gift box thing along, um, which is more nice than anything. Ben's a nice guy. Um... I suppose I should disclose that, too. Like, I, I genuinely think Ben to be a good human. And I don't just mean that in terms of, like, as a, a, a maker or a marketer or whatever the heck he actually is. Um, he, he, he's just, he's a good human, generally speaking. Um, he, he seems like a really solid guy on video, and indeed, he's a really solid guy. Um, you know, uh, one of the, he's one of the good ones, so to speak. So I, I, I appreciate him very much in that way. But I'm going to try not to let that affect the, um, the, the nature of my review here. What we've got here, actually, one of the interesting things, A, ah, hey, little, uh, we have an inlaid, uh, piece of metal there for the bearings to ride on, but actually bearings, bearings surprised me. I, for some reason, I had in my head that, oh, no, that's dirty. Uh, I was taking apart another knife before this. Um, uh, I had in my head that this was going to be a knife on washes. I don't know why I believe that, but I, I truly and genuinely did. I, I think maybe because he was just going for a very, you know, relatively simple tool. Um, but it, this is a knife on bearings. Doesn't super matter, and in fact, the action's quite nice on it as a result of it, but it's just like, oh, oh, that's different. So, well, actually, it's not different. It's largely the same, but <laughs> nonetheless. Um, one other thing I'll highlight here, I just noticed the pivot is not free-spinning, and the reason it is not free-spinning is because we've got this little kind of cutout right there, which is mirrored by a cutout in the G10 right up there. So there is that. Trying my best to get everything on video here, but I... Uh, Camera is in a weird position at the moment. Nonetheless, uh, let's go this route here. So uh, we are largely taken apart and uh, ready to go. It's a simple knife. There's a liner lock here. Uh, there's a detent ball, ceramic detent ball, ceramic bearings. Uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? Um, in a lot of ways, that's one of the criticisms that this knife has faced from people, is it's like you looked up knife in the dictionary and this is the demo picture. It's like, well, yeah, that's a criticism. Um, my hope, actually, for this knife is that it will be boring. And what I mean by boring, and many of you know this already, but for me, boring is not an insult, generally speaking. I mean, you know, there are certainly cases where it could be. I've had some meetings that were pretty boring, but for a tool, boring is actually one of the best things it can be, as I over-lubricate this brutally. Um, because boring means that it just works, and you don't have to think twice about it. You don't have to do anything with it. You don't have to dick around. It just works. You put it in your pocket, and you take it out, you cut things, you put it back in your pocket. You put it in your pocket for a pen. You take it out, you write with it, and you put it back. And there's just no question there. Whoa. Wow, I'm over-lubricating the world today. And, and I go to try and suck some of the oil back up and end up adding more. Good Lord. People, this is Exxon Shabazz in fine form at the moment. But okay, whatever. Uh, go ahead and put that down there. And let's put the bearing in place. So I'll rebuild it from this side here. And then drop this onto here. Beautiful. And then put that in there. And I'm just going to rotate, rotate, rotate this Oop, as I pull it out of its place. But that's okay. Ah. Okay. Beautiful. The detent ball. I'll use some of the leftover oil on the boiler itself. Okay. Anything else left in here? No, I don't think so. But anyways, that's kind of... It. Maybe I'm completely off here, and to be fair, I actually, I haven't talked with Ben directly about his design, and I've kind of, I know he's done some interview kind of stuff about the knife, he's talked about it a fair amount, but I, I've tried to not actually watch that yet. Um, the reason for that is just that I want to have my own sort of perspective, right? Um, I, you know, I know Ben knows knives. He's a person who's had more knives through his hands than, well, frankly, many knife designers because of his former position, but I, you know, I, I want to, got everything... Things are bound up in here. Just trying to get everything. There we go. That's in place. 
Now I should be able to pop these guys in. There we go. Let the liner lock out. There we go. Beautiful. But anyways, um, uh, so I, I, I'm not, uh, I'm trying my best not to, you know, uh, get biased, so to speak, uh, by, you know, knowing his specific vision here. My goal is to evaluate this in the same way that I evaluate anything, right? Uh, and just like, is this a good everyday carry tool? Is this a good pocket companion? Is this, yeah, is that, is this seated? I don't think this is. Damn. Uh... I need to loosen this a little bit and then get this pivot fully in place. Maybe it is now. Yeah, let me try this. Tighten this just a little bit more here. Yeah, okay, now we're in place. Okay, good. Uh, okay, now I put these screws in the back there into position. These are, by the way, all T8, which is a beautiful thing. It's a smaller knife than I actually expected it to be. Um, I don't know why I had a reason to believe it to be bigger, but it, it, it's nice and compact. This is a knife that I think... And by the way, he, I cannot believe that he didn't send one that's in Ben Blue. Like, <laughs> but maybe these are the ones he got first, right? Either way, um, let's see how we are. It's nice. No blade play, smoother, dead centered. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there, there, there we go. We're good to go. All right, so uh, now let's think about some first impressions. Um, again, I haven't really carried this knife yet. I just, in fact, I've been, you know, well, busy. Uh, and, and more specifically, I, I haven't had the time to sit down and do this disassembly. So I haven't carried it much, but I will give you some first thoughts here, as is sort of a uh, the, the new thing that I'm doing on the channel here. My first thoughts on this knife are um, substantially positive. Um, it is the biggest thing I like about this guy is the blade. It's a very simple blade shape. Again, the board is on boring, but the thing is, it's ground like crazy. It's really super thin and slicey. As a result, boy, does this thing cut. It's nice. Um, so it it is just a, it's a good little cutting tool in that sense. Um, initially, a little bit of a burr on the blade to start with, but that's okay. Let's drop that off. I like the, um, there's little maker's mark there. I like the contrasting studs here. The keyed pivot is good. Um, the thing that I think is, uh, and then just ergonomically speaking, it's, you know, it's fine. It's not like, oh my God, it just melts into my hand sort of thing, but it absolutely works. The size of it is very nice. It's very compact in the pocket. This is a knife that I think would fit very nicely in a lot of people's key pocket, actually. Um, like the, the, the little pocket above your pocket and in a lot of men's jeans. Um, I think that that would work there. S35VN steel, absolutely good to go. Um, that's, that's solid. And, you know, generally speaking, I think it's going to be pretty impressive. Um, uh, clip wise is good to go. The biggest, uh, frankly, gripe I've got with it at this point is the fact that this liner here is, is relatively proud and it's got this scalloping on there and that's to allow it to unlock and given it certainly makes it easy to unlock, but I almost would have preferred that to be a little bit lower, like basically sink the scalloping in and then cut out this side of the liner a little bit more. That way you've got the access another way. The question is just going to be, how much does that actually bother me in use? Because practically speaking, I, I think most of the time I use this, this finger is going to land right here. And so I'll effectively have this, this patch of scalloping in between my fingers. But still, um, that's, that's going to be a factor. Um, so I, I think there's that. And then actually the other thing that I don't know, and the downside of doing these disassemblies uh, with sneak previews is I try not to learn the price until the end of it. Um, but I, I, I'll do this now. Uh, let's see here. We banter knife. I'm looking up the price literally as we speak here, because this is the level of preparedness you should expect from Nick Chavez. Looks like this guy, as it is exactly done, is 108 bucks. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Uh, and my wife is printing something. All right, fun. Anyways, um, yeah, this is a, a very solid little piece. Um, and I think my overall first impressions are positive. We'll see what it looks like, you know, once I spend some more time with it. But I, oh man, I love this blade though. Um, that That's just nice. But I'll give it some more pocket time, let you know more. But for the moment, that's kind of where I'm standing. Easy to disassemble and um, looks like a tool that could very easily be a nice, boring little pocket knife, which I mean in the very best of ways. So there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you, that you enjoyed this little bit of banter, and that you have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.